What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to build a currency converter in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so let us take a brief look at what we're going to end up with here at the end of this video. This is going to be our final application, a currency converter, a simple graphical user interface with two drop downs where you can choose a currency, for example, USD to Euro. And then we can type an amount, for example, $5. And then we can click convert and we get five USD is equal to 4.64 euros. And you can of course change the currency. You can also get the rate itself if you type one. And that is what we're going to build. It's a very simple application. It's a very beginner friendly project, we're going to learn how to work with graphical user interfaces. And we're going to use a third party package that gets us the conversion rates. So this is what we're going to build and we're going to start by installing the package that I just talked about. So we're going to say pip or pip three install forex dash Python, this is the package that gets us the uh, conversion rates. And then we're going to get right into it by importing TK enter as TK, this is going to be for the graphical user interface, it's a core Python package. And then we're going to also from forex Python, import currency rates. Um, actually from forex Python dot converter import currency rates. Now, as far as I know, this package does not have any functionality that gives us a collection of the available currencies. So we're going to just define a list of the currencies that we want to support. So we can say something like common currencies, and we can say, uh, for example, USD, Euro, Great Britain pound, you need to use, of course, the correct symbols, because they are identifiers for the currencies, uh, Japanese yen, we can use Canadian dollars, we can use Australian dollars, uh, we can use the Swiss currency, and New Zealand dollars. And yeah, basically, you can add whatever you want, as long as it's a valid currency. And then we're going to build everything else as a class. So we're going to say class currency, currency converter. And we're going to define the graphical user interface in the init method. So in the constructor, basically, we're going to say self root is equal to tk dot tk, which is just our basic window. We're going to say self root title is going to be currency converter self root geometry is, let's say 200 times uh, 180. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define string variables and option menus. Now the string variables are going to be the currencies that are chosen. So from the list here, basically, and the option menu is the drop down that then is connected to that variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to say self dot from var is going to be equal to a string variable. So tk string uh, variable. And it's going to have root as a parent. And we're going to set it to be uh, the default to have a default value of USD. And then we're going to say from menu is going to be equal to TK option menu, self root self from uh, var, which is our string variable. And then we need to um, unpack the common currencies here to provide them as a uh, list of values for the drop down. So this is just a drop down menu, we say it's part of the root window. Uh, the value of it is the string variable here. And uh, or this is the string variable associated with it. And the possible values are uh, the list unpacked. So all these values here. All right, uh, then we're going to just pack all this. So from menu pack, we're going to use a padding of one um, on the vertical axis. And then I can just copy this and I can repeat the same thing, just that I'm going to replace from with two. And we're going to set the default here to Euro, and the rest is actually the same. Then we need to have a label for the amount for the final conversion. So self amount, or actually, no, we need the label in the end, we need to have the um, the label for the text box for the entry. And then we need to have another label at the bottom uh, for the actual converted amount. So we're going to say amount label here is going to be equal to TK label. <clears throat> um, going to be part of self root. And the text is just going to be amount. I'm going to pack this as well. Padding y equals one. 
And then we want to add an amount entry, which is just going to be a simple text box of TK entry, part of self root. And uh, actually, we don't need anything else here. So just pack it as well with a padding y equal to one. And then we're going to have the convert button and the final result label. So self dot convert underscore button is going to be equal to TK button self root text is going to be convert, obviously, and the command is going to be a function that we don't have yet. And this is going to be the convert currency method. So we're going to define it down here, convert currency. And we're going to just add a pass for now so that we have the function or the method, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, and then we're going to say self dot convert button pack again with a padding of one on the y axis. And finally, we want to have the result. So the result label is going to be equal to TK dot label <clears throat> um, self dot root, then the text is going to be empty by default. And we're going to pack uh, pack this as well. So result label pack with a padding off, you guessed it, one. There you go. So in the end, just a simple self root main loop call so that we actually have our user interface running. And the only magic now needs to happen in the actual convert currency function, which is not too difficult to implement. So we're just going to say try, uh, we do a try to avoid having uh, problems with uh, invalid numbers and problems with invalid currencies. So we're going to try to do the conversion, but it can fail, of course. So we're going to say from currency is going to be equal to self dot from variable get. So this gets us the value. Then uh, to currency to variable. And then the amount is a typecast it uh, float here. So we typecast the content of self amount entry dot get so we get the content from the amount entry, then we typecast it to a float, that's the amount. And then we get the conversion rates. So we can say C rates is equal to currency rates. And then we can say that the rate we need is uh, the following we want to get from C rates, get the rate and then from currency to currency, this will give us a rate and then we just need to have a converted amount, which is going to be the amount times the rate, obviously. And all we need to do then is we need to take the result label and change the text. So the text is then going to be a formatted string, where we're going to say amount from currency equals converted amounts up until two decimal places. Um, and then to currency. There you go. Um, that's basically it. What's the problem here? Yeah, we don't have an accept block. So we need to also say accept. And uh, yeah, depending on what it is, if it's a value error, we're going to say, uh, let's just copy this. And we're going to change the text here to please enter a valid number. And if it's uh, any other exception, we're going to say error occurred. This is how you write that, I think so. All right, so in order to actually use this now, all we have to do is we have to create an instance of this class. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore, then currency converter constructed. There you go. And we have our application, I can choose uh, some currency, I can enter an amount, I can get a conversion. There you go. And of course, if I get the same uh, currency, I get of course, the same conversion. So yeah, this is how you build a simple currency converter in Python. 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.